It's really a wonderful Sabbath to all of you brothers and sisters this morning. Okay, we would like to express our gratitude and thanks for the wonderful song rendered to us by our gentlemen here in Iraq. And we acknowledge their gift, their spiritual gift. And this church should go on why God has given us innermost gift in order for us to fulfill the ministry. So, thank you very much. At the same time, we would like to acknowledge also those viewers uh, online, Facebook or YouTube. And this is linked to the Hope Channel. I just found out that we are online this morning. So to all of you who are staying in your houses, in your condominiums and apartments, we really be assured that the resting of the Holy Spirit will be upon you also as we're going to have this congregation be blessed by the songs as well as the word. <clears throat> now brothers and sisters, before we're going to have to consider our topic this morning, I would like to acknowledge the publishing team which I met these two days. I've been wondering and trying to contemplate and observing the way you work with the the outsiders, because I found out that Pinsan is a mixed, mixed multitude within you can have to mingle with unbelievers. And you say non Adventists, they are believers also. And it is our first time to observe and come here, particularly in Pinsan province. So I would like to acknowledge uh, a Sir Rizal together with his wife. Will you please stand up, sir, and ma'am? So these, these are the publishing team, and we have also ma'am Roseanne. And Sir Joseph from Mount Conken. You stand up. Okay, these are the publishing team which I met these two days about two days ago. But they are our friends, but uh, Sir Rizal and the wife. I only only met them these two couple of days. But I already know about his name. Okay, so at the same time I'm going to recognize also recognize also my wife, my ever supportive wife. Now ma'am, will you please stand up? My my only wife. <laughs> and so all the brethren who come from Udon or other provinces welcome also. We extend our warm gratitude and thanks for coming and joining the two days of fair sports fest with the combination of the Sabbath, anyway, you're going to have the extension of your sports fest tomorrow, I heard. So, before that, I'm going to share some of, your, some of the information so that we'll be able to be guided well. Now, last two years ago, the Special Publishing Committee came here is because they wanted to help the, the publishing ministry as well as the evangelism here to the literature uh, ministry also. So we have the SSD publishing directors, publishing director, the president of PPH Philippine Publishing House, and the vice president of the Philippine Publishing House, the NPUC, SPUC, SPUC publishing directors, and the Southeast Asia Union Mission in Singapore came here. We the purpose that they have to look for a person to lead and to revitalize the APAP. We know ATPAC Brothers and Sisters is a club recognized by General Conference, the SSD, the SAUM, the Union, and the Thailand and its mission. And without so much to do, they pray. When they arrive here, they pray, of course, and they try to gather some names in order for them to consider during their meeting this special publishing committee and they found out that my name was recommended and I was um, I was appointed as the APAC head coordinator by the SSD and the union and working with Magna Thai, the publishing department of Thailand Mission. That's why we have to go all over Thailand in order for us to revitalize, to revive the APAC. Why? APAC is the Hero is the cornerstone, is the counterpart of the publishing department in which we all know 
according to the promotional talk this morning by Sir Rizal, that we are here for a purpose. So, second, this afternoon, please don't go home because we're going to have the promotional publishing promotion. At the same time, we're going to have a health checkup for free. For free. If you have to lie down tonight with sentiments, that machine can detect your sentiments. Okay. So that is a highlight. This highlight this afternoon we will be given chance. But if we have be given chance, we'll be going back to Bangkok. I really believe that if ever this will be goes through, we can stay here even until 10 o'clock in order for you to be accommodated. Because this is for free, brothers and sisters. Okay. Now shall we bow our hands for prayer? Our most gracious and kind Heavenly Father. We thank you very much, Lord, for you seeing these special people, just like the boys and family, the Kadab and family who extended their call, extended their warm welcome to come and visit these brethren, to be your mouthpiece in front of them. May you anoint me with your Holy Ghost. Lord, thank you for Elder Tudo Kadapan, who became the vessel that he even extended this invitation for us to come and to see the real situation and condition of the church. We pray that you're going to draw to us and may the spirit of wisdom, spirit of unity will always bond and there will be harmony within us. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Okay, so I was really planning to have a publishing drive this, after, this morning. Well, in fact, when I received the message last Monday, that they told me that, will you please have a team heaven at last? So I changed. I changed the mindset at the same time. I tried to change the, the what I call PowerPoint presentation. So we have a team heaven at last. If you observe this morning, it's all about heaven, brothers and sisters. So this moment, we're going to study maybe a few, few minutes about this heaven at last theme. So we are here, the glorious new creation. And this is the memory text, which was read, ago, uh, read, read a while ago this morning. Behold, for behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered or come to mind, Isaiah 65, 17. God is really promising to us, and He promised a long time ago, since the foundation of the world, He is preparing a place in order for us to be, we commune with the angels. We have to commune with Him face to face, and we will never be separated, because there is a place intended for all of us, brothers and sisters. Heaven at last, not at last heaven, Heaven at last. For so for us the new heavens and the new earth which I make shall remain before me, says the Lord. So shall your descendants and your name remain. What a wonderful promise. Your name has been identified by heaven. And your name has been recorded in heaven. Every deeds, every thoughts that you are uttering, the things that you are doing. Around the corner, God's eyes look at you, brothers and sisters, and heaven has the record. Heaven at last. This is the ultimate dream that we're going to have to conquer heaven. But if you're going to look and consider some of the scholars, when Jesus Christ ascended to heaven, He sent to us this Holy Spirit, and it's special, a special comporter from him means say spiritually talking when we receive the Holy Spirit there is peace there is heaven there is the influence of heaven the atmosphere of heaven is within us but we are looking forward for that literal heaven that there will be the paradise the throne of God and all of us will be joining for eternity heaven of us now next slide sir now what and where is heaven? We are here, heaven is a real place. John 14, 1-3, this is a very common text. 
left of your heart. Why you said left of your heart? Because it was very present in your mind the betrayal of Judas to their master, the denial of Peter to their master, and his leaving them like an orphans. But God said, I will never leave you orphans. But I'm going to send the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit will always teach and comfort them and teach them particularly the very things that he had done while he was on earth. So Luke 10, 20, it says there that the heavens, heavens or the heaven knows our name, brothers and sisters. If you're going to read there, only those names are written in the book of the Lamb are those people who will be enjoying eternity. That's why we need to extend. We need to invite the people to come with us, to join with us, because we are heaven bound. We have Matthew 25, 34. Heaven is a prepared place. What a nice place. Our attitude should be heavenward. Our deeds our life should be a holistic transformation that we're going to have this heaven because we have heaven at last. We have heaven. We have the mindset for heaven. We have the life that being set aside by God for a special purpose. And we are really dreaming to have this heaven on earth in our family. Heaven is a familiar place. Revelation 21 one and so on and so forth. You can see God said, I will create the new heavens and all things will become new. Heaven is a clean place. There will be no idolaters. There will be no thieves. No sorcerers. But those people who will be in heaven are those people who are washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Heaven is a safe place. Matthew 6, 19, if you can be there, nor the mooth, nor the rest cannot be affected or nor be, nor can affect the things in heaven. Why? Because the mooth are no longer there. No rubbers will be there. But those people will be there are those people who accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Heaven is a humble place. Are you dreaming of this place, brothers and sisters? To be in heaven. There will be joy. And you'll be meeting your friends. You are known friends. You're the angels that accompanies you every now and then. And you'll be able to see the patriarchs and prophets, the disciples, and the great reformate or uh, the great people, just like John Holmes, Lord Martin Luther, and the You'll be able to meet them and talk with them face to face. Heaven is a meeting place. Wow. A meeting place. First Corinthians 13, 12. It says here, We can see dimly. Dimly. But behold, we'll be able to see you face to face. And we'll be known as we have known. Brothers and sisters. Okay, heaven Heaven is spiritual reality So we need to have a sanctified life We all know brothers and sisters Our body is God's temple Therefore if we allow This Holy Spirit to concur Or take possession in our lives This will become a sanctuary Of the Holy Spirit Once the Holy Spirit really is seen in us, it will bear fruit. And this is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And this is the work of the lifetime, the sanctified love. Now it says here, keep being a pure love, obeying His commands. This is a sanctified life because we are heaven of us. Seek Him with all your heart and serve Him. Take His Word into your heart, living by the living Word. Transform by the truth. 
Delight in the Lord as a precious treasure. Search your heart and forget, forget that His word. These are the very core values in which we'll be able to know that a person, when he is, when he is sanctified by the Holy Spirit, he should have this kind of life. He has to do this and he has to manifest this because this is a daily life that he has to be because he is now heaven at last. He is now living in the portals of heaven. Next, sir. Okay, second. Heaven, a spiritual reality, the first. And we have here, Godliness Reggie's Heaven's Atmosphere. Now, first, Peter 1 15 and 16 it says, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Meaning to say, brothers and sisters, God's holiness will be imparted to us through the Holy Spirit. And once we have the Holy Spirit, we always have the spiritual, what they call wisdom, to identify which is good and evil. And once you embrace the purity of life of Jesus Christ and walk in the newness of life through the Spirit, you're going, you're going to have the holiness, the holiness that comes from God, not from your works, because this is imparted. Now, it says here, God's holiness is His moral excellence, His stainless, incorruptible goodness, His unquenchable enthusiasm for righteousness, His uncompromising and total recoil from evil. Brothers and sisters, if we are really thinking that we are now in heaven's atmosphere, in our family, with our friends, we have the mindset for heaven, and we have the mindset of heaven. Therefore, we can see a sanctified life, and this sanctified life could be a very strong message to all of us and to all the people. Be a servant. Be a servant. Okay? Heaven has come at the door. Since we are talking about heaven at last, Heaven has come at the door. Now I'd like to tell you about this lady. She is the wife of a three-star general of Royal Thai Air Force. How I wish I could, according to the elder, I'm going to step before trial. But if I cannot really cover up brothers and sisters, I can come. I can come. Now, and Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this Kista. Because they also are sons of Adam, sons and daughters of Abraham. The Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. I tell you, she's not an Adventist, brothers and sisters. I'm going to tell you, please listen carefully. Because in our presentation today, God is really talking to you dramatically speaking. Now we were working Sakao, the place that you're going this, this month. We were assigned there as missionaries close to Aranya Brother, when you say in Sakao City. There are only few of us working there, only two of us working in the missions mission field. At one time while we were in the mission school, this lady, this woman, arrived with a grasping breath, breathing. She said, oh, I'm here because I'm going to meet someone, my very close friend, my very close friend. And we started to ask, what's, what's the name of your friend, ma'am? So, so and so. Even though we're going to identify, or we started identifying the ties who attended Sabbath services there, there is no such name that she mentioned. I said, ma'am, that lady we don't really know. She's really a total stranger to us. Maybe the next church, you can go there. No. My friend told me, I'm going to meet her here at 10 o'clock in the morning. She said, so we started to bless each other and said, we found out that she was guided by the Holy Spirit. And she was guided by the angel of God. 
If you will never work, brothers and sisters, and fulfill the gospel commission, God shall use angels. God shall use angels. <clears throat> but we are chosen according to First Corinthians 5.20. We are God's ambassadors. We need to share the turnings of Jesus coming. That's why we need to work. And there is a great work to be done. So, this late woman said, Oh, until 10 o'clock struck the clock, 11, nobody arrived. Nobody arrived. So, what we did, brothers and sisters, we handed and fed him with so much publication. Step surprise. Step surprise. And don't you know, Thai people believe that there is a great spirit that comes and conquers the world. And they believe that this great spirit is God, but not Jesus Christ. The Thai people are waiting because they believe of that great spirit that is coming. But when we talk about Jesus Christ, it will open their minds, brothers and sisters. You need to go out, meet them where they are. So, we took our lunch, then nobody arrived. And we started to make friends. In short, she can visit our house, our rented house. We can visit her to her humble house or residence. In four months, I asked her, Ma'am, since your car is dirty, I'm going to wash it voluntarily. Brothers and sisters, Thai people are really observing our deeds. Instead of telling them about Jesus, show Jesus within you by your deeds. Thai people are very meticulous that Christian, how Christian live, or how Christian lives, brothers and sisters. I washed the car for two hours for four months. And this is times that we started to have a very open communication and started to have a building confidence within us. We join worship, we eat together, we laugh together, we share good, good things together in Sakyam. Brothers and sisters, with this kind of friendship, no talking about Jesus, friendship, sharing the publication, I believe that in this book, brothers and sisters, In this book, there is power. Why? Hebrews 4.12 The Word of God is active like a two-edged sword. The ministry is in the book. Once you handle the book, brothers and sisters, God's Spirit will take control of the person who received the book. And finally, he is really in need of a spiritual manner. And that person will read with trembling, what called trembling lips, and said, "Now I found out Jesus as the answer to my longings." <laughs> Take this book, share, brothers and sisters. Do not hesitate. Romans five, Romans one sixteen. I am not ashamed of the gospel. If you are ashamed, then heaven will be ashamed. <clears throat> brothers and sisters, we need. Courageous witness in this pandemic. I appeal to the people in Bangkok. Go with us. We go out with must or no must. Attack the word. But they all decline. They all decline. It's so sad to see, brothers and sisters. We are God's soldiers, and yet our rivals are laid at a corner and during pandemic time we don't even go out and extend this spiritual manner to the time why because of pandemic heaven has come you know what happened to this woman after a year march 17 2017 she got baptized and one thing brothers and sisters she is a shepherdess, shepherdess for three churches. And every five years, 
she can erect or she can transplant one church. And each church, she has to receive a new car from Korea. But when he got baptized by the sisters, the members, because she was a pastora, the members were looking at her. Where are you, ma'am? Where are you, past pastora? Or shepherd? Or shepherdess? She said, I am now a Seventh-day Adventist. I can no longer join you in your, your Sunday denomination because I have found the truth. I have found heaven. Heaven at last. Heaven is with me. I have the gift of heaven. And heaven is in my heart right now. And I said, no, please come back. We miss you. You nurtured us. You mentored us to love Christ. I said, no, I can't go back. And she even told me, Pastor Park, I have to decline your offer. I will never receive your monthly support with 20000 and your new car because I am a Seneca. Wow! Very courageous woman. She could testify to the headquarters. I am a Seneca Adventist. I don't want your 20000 baht your new car as a complimentary gift to me because I am now a seventh year. Brothers and sisters, right now, some of her former members join the seventh year Adventists. And they are now worshiping with the Nam Nam Wang somewhere in Sakeo. From Sakeo City, you had to travel 87 kilometers. Very far, and we had gone there. Okay, uh, next slide, sir. Okay, number one. Heaven's peace comports amid crisis. There, a nor there is salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must save. Heaven at last. Matthew 1:21. He shall be called, his name shall be called Jesus, or he shall cleanse, or he shall cleanse the sins of the world. Now I'm going to tell you this lady. All of these pictures are Buddhist, not Adventist. This is a challenge. If you are living at heaven's eyes, on heaven's eyes, and you have now the heaven, the spiritual heaven in your heart. And we are longing, brothers and sisters, for this paradise. Then we have to work out. I'm going to tell you this story. One day, I think it's between 8.30 to 9. This missionary working downstairs of the Thailand and this mission was walking towards the office. And this lady is following her. This lady was following her. And when she turned her head, she started to walk past. And as she turned again her head, this lady, this woman, follows her past also. So she started to walk, see me running. Then she locked the door because she was scared. She was scared. And I was also following them. When I arrived at the door post, brothers and sisters, this lady was crying bitterly. Crying bitterly. She was really terrified. It seems that she saw something, a black spirit, because she's really trembling, shaking, with all the sweating, brothers and sisters, with all the sweating. Then I pushed the door, I knocked the door, and it's locked. It's locked. Then I opened, please open. Then the lady said, I need Bible! I need Bible! So, I get inside the basement of Thailand Mission, took the old worn Bible. Then I gave to him, to her. Then it seems that I need to read something. Then I read the parable, the story of the demonian. Then I read and I pray. 
And I lay my hands. I said, I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. And people were passing at us. They don't mind. And we are praying. I'm praying with this woman. And she said, you know, I was running away from black spirit. Because this black spirit wanted to kill me. That's why I ran and I was looking for a place in which I could be safe. And Tan, I mean, this mission to found is a very safe place for me because I really believe all of you are Christians. But when I need help, Christians are running away from me. And I tell you, brothers and sisters, it's so sad. Christians love the door. That's why she's trying to press the door. Please help me, I need Bible. Then I said, what you have seen, madam? Oh, great spirit. Bah, bah, bah. Like bad spirit wanting to kill me. Then I said, man, maybe you need to eat. You need to eat. Then we gave water, hot water, meal, then bread and so on and so forth. And we prayed. And then let her come. I asked the lady, I said, ma'am, the lady, when she's asking for help, why you lock the door? So I'm scared because she might stab me at the back. She might grab me anywhere and she might kill me. You see, if we are heavenly messengers, we don't need to think that kind of things to us. We should be generous. We should be genuine. We should be real. Why heaven is real? And people are really looking for refuge because they are lost. And this evil spirit is killing them softly, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. The way to store up treasures in heaven is by investing, getting people there. How many people are you invited, brothers and sisters? How many people now? Next slide, sir. Okay. Okay, next slide. So we have here Heaven is a sure refuge in the next line. Now I was a stranger and you took me in. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but the face to face, but the face to face now I know in part, but then I shall know just I also am known. First Corinthians 13 12. Now he who lays up treasures in looks forward to eternity. Wow, it's a nice quotation, brothers and sisters. Are you longing to be in heaven? Because our thing is heaven at last. Now, are you talking in your day-to-day -day basis about heaven? Are you doing the heavenly work that God has commissioned to you? Are you preparing people to get to heaven? Are you preparing people that they will be able to meet their God, brothers and sisters? I'm going to tell you another dramatic story. One evening, I'm about to sleep. 10 o'clock. It's Wednesday evening. I was in my sleeping attire. I heard knocking. Pastor, Pastor, are you still alive? Are you still awake? Yes. You know, when you're going to knock at the door, in our simple and very small room, even early morning, we will be open. So, knocking, here comes a missionary teacher, an APCA teacher. We design, to make those stories short, I started to listen. People who has depression don't need they don't need to listen to you, but you need to listen to them. Why they are looking for exit? 
Because they have so much problem in their hearts, in their mind. And I would like to tell you, brothers and sisters, Wednesday evening, I listened to him for more than two hours. And after listening for two hours, he said, you know, Pastor, last Monday, that is Wednesday evening, last Monday, I'm about to jump from the third floor. But before I decided to jump, I said, I had to look for a certain pastor that could give me some advice. And after that, if I am depressed, I'm going to jump. And I asked him, why, what are the factors that you are really depressed? He said, I was an OFW in Singapore. And for four months, I never worked and I had financial, financial drain, financial drain. No money, and that time, his wife is about to deliver a baby. And he was attacked by asthmatic bronchitis, in which it's, 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 it is very difficult for him to breathe. And said, my life is miserable, I better help you. But when I listened to him, and I quote some of the biblical stories in the Bible. He said, I'm not going to jump anymore because I am in heaven of us. I found Jesus. And that was the picture taken when we are inside the BIC church. After that encounter, brothers and sisters, I have never met this person. But some people told me he found a job and he's now receiving 25,000. Mean you say, you save a person. You snatch the person from the cause of destruction. If you're living in the eyes of the Lord because you are heavenly bound and you have now the heavenly atmosphere, you need to share this assurance to the people. Because there are a lot of people nowadays, they're looking and looking for this rest in their lives. Okay, having a place of healing and happiness. I was a stranger and you took me in. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but the face to face. Okay, next century. Okay, having a place of healing and happiness. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Have passed away, Revelation 21, 14, 4. Brothers and sisters, we are geared to heaven. We are longing for that heaven. And God promised in Isaiah 65, 17. Behold, we, need, we don't need to imagine, but we need to see with our faith. That God is telling us, Behold, I will make new heavens and new earth. And these mansions prepared for us, they are already prepared since from the foundation of the world. You need only to accept Him and to live a sanctified life. And once you have a sanctified life, you will never fail because Jesus becomes your perfecter, the author of your faith. And Jesus Christ becomes the anchor of your faith. Brothers and sisters, have you visited Thai people? Not Adventists. I am asking not Adventist people. Do you have the courage to visit them? Do you have the courage to violate certain norms in order for them to know about heaven? Yes, norms, standards, culture is really very, very relevant. But we need to go beyond the culture. We need to go beyond the culture. Bring the culture of God. Bring the culture of Christ. Now I want to tell you, brothers and sisters, behold, I will behold, I make all things new according to God. This lady works at the provincial water engineering office. These are all ties. No Filipinos, except us. One night, one evening. I dream. The following day, I asked my wife, Lynn, 
Not, not monkey, huh? Bing. <laughs> Short, darling. So when I say bling, not monkey. Because he doesn't look like a monkey. Bling. Please call this lady. Oh, when I heard what is she's crying. She was really crying. The child died! The child died! And I was really listening. Then I said, Bing. Please. Hey, crap. We need to rescue her. Because the word, the, the crying, the mourning there is in need of help. In need of help. You need to respond immediately. 911. Not 119. So when we arrived there, brothers and sisters, the gate, the main gate was open a little, little bit. And I said, we are here, we are here. I said, please come, come upstairs, come upstairs. To make the illustration short, she was lying alone for three days. For two days. When you receive God's impression through visions and dreams, follow brothers and sisters because God has a mission, God has a purpose, God has a message for you. Do not mistake. I am saying this by heart why we encounter these people. We encounter these people. And I said, ma'am, we need to violate your Thai culture. We need to touch you. In the name of Jesus. So I said, Ling, you touch the half part of the body down the extremities, then I'm going to touch upward. So this afternoon, if you have some ailments, stay. We're going to touch you with touch of pain. We have good stories. Last Sabbath, people get healed. They were relieved. They were relieved by God. Now, in a 40-minute message, brothers and sisters, we have the disposition, then we have also the reflexology. She cannot walk, she cannot stand up, she cannot eat. She always lies down there for three days. But after 40 minutes, she stood up. When we went out from her house, she was the one who opened the main gate, standing now, healed the God. Amen. And you'll be able to meet her when you go to Sakel this coming thirty first. You'll be able to meet her. I tell you, brothers and sisters. Behold, I make all things. When she found Jesus Christ, because she's now joining the Seventh day Adventist Church there, despite that she's the Buddhist, her life made new. Why? There's heaven for us. Sir? Next slide. Okay, the great final test to be in heaven at last. This will be our highlights this afternoon. We'll be checking your body covering 37 vital parts. We have here the community service. I even cleaned the shoreline. You did before here in Nakon Ratsima because I read from the Review Herald. And it was broadcasted through publishing that your deeds, when you clean up the national park here in Korea, it was being published all throughout the world by the Seventh Adventists. You need to do it again. Now it says here the great final test must come to the church. Churches in connection with the two missionary work. A work that has the great position to dictate and recite all it comprehends. True or custom medical missionary work is the term applied to Torcas or welfare work, health or medical work. That's why we're going to have this health work or medical work this afternoon. Medical work or community, community activities of Christian health work of various kinds. Okay, next, sir, next slide. The parable of the Good Samaritan. Last time we went, this is Pantheon time. We went to Rayong, Rayong International Church and said, We want to enrich the health aspect of our brethren. Nobody responded. Why Bangkok people, residing in Bangkok, are 
what they call maybe carriers of virus. Yeah, right. What happened, brothers and sisters? Because we can go back to back of empty handed, we call the attention of Catholic teachers, and these are the Catholic teachers who responded and who accommodated us. But in the church of Rayon, there is only one person who came. Is that the way we respond to God's call? Okay, next, sir. Now, I think this would be my last because I want to step before child. Individual responsibility. Everywhere there is a tendency to substitute the work of organizations for individual effort. Christ leads to his followers an individual work, a work that cannot be done by proxy. You just read that one. Now, I would like to tell you, brothers and sisters, this is my wife. This lady tried to inform her neighbors that she has to harvest her rations. No one came. No one came. When I heard that she came to the mission school, I told my wife, you go to the rice fields and help her. I'll do the teaching. Are we willing to submerge into the muddy place just to help? and lift up the burden of the time. Are we ready, brothers and sisters, to take up our robes, our profession, and sacrifice ourselves? Step on the man, glean the golden rice, the golden bodies, or the wheat with a big tiny bowl. I'm going to tell you another story. She found Jesus inside an empty bottle. Okay, now I have only a very short period of time. This lady, she was really praying that she will be able to have a water installation. Because her work, her livelihood, brothers and sisters, she's a beam, beam cleaner or a trash picker. She can separate or pick up cartoons empty plastic, tin cans, and so forth, and sell that is the source and means of her life. Who pretty it is it? And this time, it seems that the people nearby, they don't like to extend help by giving her water. So she said, Oh, I believe you're a Christian. I'll try your Christian because I'm Buddhist. She joined. And we pray, brothers and sisters. We pray. She has to raise 2,500 in order for her to install the water pipes because they assisted already to make the illustration short. We've been praying. We've been praying. Sorry. She's asking 2,500 baht. Then one night after the Friday night market, she was really picking trash there. The, the bean, plastic bean. Okay, plastic, paper, cartoon, and so on and so forth. While she was grabbing a certain empty plastic, it seems her heart pumped past. And there's something, because while she was really grabbing something there, it seems that Jesus Christ is inside the beam. Hello? She saw Jesus Christ there. And she has the answer that I have this water soon because Jesus is in this plastic bin. When she picked up the plastic and she started to look by wiping it, there's money inside! There's money inside! And she ran towards the mission school and said, hey, 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 open the door! Heaven at last! I have Jesus! God answered my prayer, my prayers. And when she opened the plastic bottle, the empty bottle, which has money, instead of having only 2,500 baht for water installation, water installation, 
God has given her 5,000. I tell you, you can meet this lady when you go to the camp. I tell you. Brothers and sisters, there is a work to be done. We don't need to pay pastors. We don't need to pay laymen. We need to do our individual effort. Why? We are for heaven. Last or last? Okay? Just go back, sir, for a while. You see, the moths receive great controversy. Do not be afraid. Let the mom be afraid. <laughs> okay? This lady, she, she was educated in London. She is a very good speaker. This man, he's a caretaker of the tourist place somewhere in Cambodia and Thailand. Those people here, you can see, up in the mountains. I even went there just to meet this mom. So go in highways and byways. Conquer! Why? Because God said, once you step your foot on the land, Believe that God will give you. It is a conquest. It is a victory. And last sir, last. Okay? Down here. Next sir, next. Christ method alone. The Savior mingled with men. As one who decided good, he showed his sympathy for them. Minister to their needs. Wonder confidence. Then he made them follow me. The wonderful example of Christ. The much less tenderness with which he entered into the feelings of others, weeping with those who wept, rejoicing with those who rejoice, must have a deep influence upon the character of all who follow him sincerely. By kindly words and acts, they will try to make the path easy to the weary. Brothers and sisters, we have Jesus Christ our example. If you are doing these things with our example, you must be afraid. But since Jesus Christ has shown to us the perfect will of God, the Father, and has shown a very perfect life, that's why we need to follow Him. We need to be like Him in this, in manner. We need to be like Him every day. We must be imitator of godly things, not for evil things. Last, sir. And there shall be no more curse. This was in relation with the song which was sang by the gentleman. That the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. They shall see his face, and his name shall be on their hearts. There shall be no night there. They need no lamp, nor light of the sand, for the Lord God gives them light and they shall reign forever and ever God is doing his best not to exclude you away from heaven but he is doing his best to let you come in into eternity heaven at last this is our prayer Amen.